Alrighty, so we have a really interesting construction update um, today for Yukon Striker. I have some other hidden information that I'm trying to hide in this video. I'm gonna make a video on it tomorrow. If you have a keen eye, you might be able to pick up on it before I make the video tomorrow, um, but just sh sh for now. Um, so as you can see, no new pieces in the storage lot. Like I said, I think all the pieces are here. The vertical loop um, is starting to be shipped off into that area. You can see it on the flatbeds. And this is why the second drop or <laughs> the drop out of the MCBR is complete. And boy, did the animation underwhelm that drop. So a lot of people were commenting because of the animation. Wow, this is weird for a dive coaster to not have close to an 80 degree drop um, out of an MCBR, the second drop on a dive coaster. And it looks like the animation was just kind of underplaying it or it wasn't designed perfectly in the animation. The drop definitely looks so much better now that I've seen it. It's definitely like close to 80, maybe 75 to 80 degrees um, of a drop, very steep, very close to the ground, much bigger in person than it looked in the animation. So it is totally awesome to see this in person. Um, and as you can see, the zero G roll has started to go inverted. Um, you can actually see down on the ground um, next to the drop out of the MCBR, the final bit of the zero G roll. So they'll probably put that in tomorrow. They put the support structure up for the zero G roll today. The vertical loop is being shipped into the park. So we'll probably see the vertical loop done next week. Fingers crossed, it's gonna be absolutely insane. Again, this coaster is probably at the 60% mark for um, 60-65% mark in terms of completion. Um, keen eyes, cough, cough. If you look close to the station, they are working really hard on getting that pathway or river, whatever it's going to be. I believe it's a pathway underneath the turnout of the station heading towards the um, transfer shed or storage shed. Um, so they're working there. You can see the excavator there. Not much else going on. I'm just checking out Mindbuster for no particular reason. Um, but yeah, this is looking amazing. I'm absolutely loving the look of Yukon Striker the more I see it completed. Um, totally awesome. I can't wait to start seeing Frontier Canada stuff, but damn, I can't, like, damn, I cannot get over how much better that second drop out of the MCBR looks. This actually calms me down a bit for that kind of really weak second half. I can tell we're gonna definitely pick up some good momentum there. Um, and kind of have a much better end to the ride than we typically thought as we go into that photogenic part where you can look up and watch riders turning into the brake run. So that's gonna be sick. Um, the ride looks absolutely stunning as usual. All of you already know that though. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about because I've just been so excited if you can't tell by that second drop. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, but yeah, so again, uh, just to go over it quickly, you have vertical loop pieces sitting in the storage lot on flatbeds that'll probably be brought in tomorrow. The zero G roll pieces are all connected together um, and will be installed all at once. So they'll go from that piece right there, you see that's almost inverted and go all the way to the support beam. So that's a lot of pieces all connected together. And that's why you see that second crane down there next to the yellow crane um, just unfolded uh, or sorry, folded up, not unfolded, folded up. So you'll probably have the both of them lift that into place tomorrow. So that'd be awesome. Um, and then the vertical loop, uh, it going into the vertical loop will be put in place. Um, you can see all the supports laying down there underneath the lift hill and uh, with the little cherry picker down there. Um, or I think that's actually a mini crane that'll install those. Those are probably the vertical loop support columns that they'll start building. I've noticed that they um, start building those and uh, have them set up and ready to go. I also, I'm noticing a lot of white tarps on the brake run and lift hill area. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'm noticing some white tarps over there. It's probably covering up electrical. So that, that's pretty cool. Probably lots of work going on there. Um, but yeah, no sign of Frontier Canada anything yet. Um, we'll see, uh, keep checking each day for that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all for my update today. Hope you guys really enjoyed that. Smash that like button, share the video for others to enjoy, and comment down below how excited you are for Yukon Striker. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.